Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this video is not going to be a reading. Today is class time, okay? We're going to be getting educated today. For some of you, this information is brand new to you, and for another part of you, or a few of you, you already know this information, okay? So this could be a video you could view as a refresher or some newfound information, all right? So, yes. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, in my most recent video, I said that I was going to explain something here about the nervous system, right? And how there's a spiritual connection that I didn't explain in that video. I'm going to explain it in this video. But before I, ex I explain the nervous system, okay? There's some basic information that needs to be explained as well, okay? We all know that we are one, correct? What do I mean by that? I mean that Everything that is external, outside of this human body, is also within you, okay? It could be, how can I say this? It could be an example, this is an example. Like the ecosystem, like the ecosystem of this, this planet, with the animals, the insects, the, all the stuff, right? It all has its own system in order to sustain itself, correct? The same thing that's in a larger form, like a larger system, is also reflected in a smaller system. So let's just take the ecosystem, okay, of this planet. That same type of ecosystem is the same kind of ecosystem you have within your human body when it comes to how bacteria in your body operates it's the same as an ecosystem when it comes to the planets okay um so things that are outside of you are reflected within you just like we are people living on this planet earth okay earth is inside of a solar system right That solar system, where Earth is at, there's also a solar system inside of you, okay? This is why they call it That's why they call the the that's why they call it the universe. Universe. Okay. A lot of the mysteries of this world are you can be decoded in everyday words that we use. Okay? Especially in the English language. Okay, but in all language, but I'm just saying. Um it's inside of you. Just like the in space how a star is born it also goes through the stages of death as well just like us humans certain um minerals and elements that are in stars that make up stars or that are in stardust we also in our human bodies carry the those same minerals those same elements okay we are all one okay your body is a smaller version of the world that is external from you all right so your head is heaven your feet is hell okay your feet your heels hell your head heaven your head is heaven because like I explained in the last video, not the last last video, but the other video about the, the decoding of the Bible, 
um, inside of your mind, okay, is your pituitary gland, which is representative of the moon, which carries a negative charge. The pituitary gland is of a feminine nature, so it attracts, okay? It's also represented of the milk, right, when it comes to making Christ oil. Then we also have the sun, that's also in the mind, right? The sun is representative of the penile gland, and that is representative of the honey. The milk and the honey right the sun is is um has a positive charge it is a, it is more of a masculine energy okay so the sun and the moon need to be together in order to make christ oil so in order for you to be balanced your masculine and your feminine energies need to be in balance okay so whenever you hear people talk about uh masculine like just like on this earth right right now we're having this big war between the the men and the women right we don't need men we don't need women all this dumb talk right um the gag is we both we equally both need each other because we both equally have our own unique power and our own unique qualities that we bring to the table okay in order to create something beautiful all right like more life <laughs> okay um all right the Let me just keep going. Okay. So like I said, the solar system, which solar can be broken down to the word soul. So the solar system is also the soul system that is inside of you. Okay. The solar system is in space. Your soul system is inside of you. Okay. Oh, I forgot to also mention your body is representative of earth itself because you were made from earth. Okay. All right. Just like it says in the Bible, you are made from the dirt, blah, blah, blah. This is all metaphoric. All right. So this brings me to Psalms 82, chapter 6, verse 7. We are going to read this out of the King James Bible first. Okay. Here we are says i have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes okay so basically what that is saying is that we are of gods but we are not god okay god has made us in the image we are his children. Okay? I hope this makes sense. And it doesn't matter, like, because the second, the verse 7 says, But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. It's like basically saying it doesn't matter how much you have on, the, on this earth. It doesn't matter what your status is socially, monetarily you you're gonna be just like everyone else everyone is born and everyone dies on this earth it is an equal playing field i hope this is making sense okay um let's check it out in this bible what this verse says in this one it says i said you are gods and this is in quotations it says you are all sons of the most high but you will die like mere mortals and you will fall like every other ruler basically saying you are made in the image of god but you are not higher than the most high okay oh lord my bra okay okay um just so we make that abundantly clear because there's some people out here that uh, think in their mind 
okay? That when they hear this information, oh, um, I'm a god, I'm a goddess, I'm this, I'm that, the, it sometimes it gets to people's heads, okay? And that is not the purpose of this information, okay? You are not more powerful than the one that created you, child. Okay, so let me just keep going, all right? So the solar system, right? Now how I said it's inside of you, okay? Each planet that's in the solar system can be representative of each chakra that you have. We have seven chakras within us, okay? Some people um, may argue that some of these planets aren't connected exactly to these particular chakras. They could be interchangeable or some just people have different theologies of what these, how these correlate, okay? So for the crown chakra, right? People feel like the crown chakra, let me get it. well, let me start with the root chakra. Let me start with the root chakra, the root chakra, okay? This chakra is representative or correlates with the planet Mars, okay? The chakral chakra correlates with the planet Mercury. Some say it correlates with the planet Jupiter, but it is what it is, okay? We have solar plexus chakra. Some say your solar plexus chakra is connected to planet Jupiter, all right some may say something else okay we have the heart chakra the heart chakra is connected to the planet venus some may argue that it's connected to the planet moon the moon itself okay then we have the throat chakra the throat chakra is connected to the planet saturn some may argue is connected to the planet Mercury or some other planet, okay? You got to do your own research, figure out what, what, what speaks truth to you, okay? We have third eye chakra. The third eye chakra is connected to the planet or, yeah, the sun, okay? Some may say something else. But the third eye, in my opinion, makes sense why it's represented by the sun. Because the third eye illuminates things that are in the dark. The third eye can see through things just like the sun can. You can't escape the sun. Okay? The third eye is connected to the penal gland. Okay? We have crown chakra. The crown chakra could be is connected to the, the planet moon, which is moon. The moon. Okay? which is representative of your pituitary gland, all right? Some may argue and say that the crown chakra is connected to some other planet, but do, do what you need to do, okay? And all of these so-called planets or chakras that are in your, in your body, they all have their own system. Okay, it has its own system. Okay, um, now let's get to the nervous system. Now that I've explained this, I hope you guys are following me. Okay, for some of you, you're, you haven't, let me just stay positive. Let me just say this. Sometimes, sometimes people's, knowledge or the the expansion of one's mind it reflects what what the reality is right so some people may not realize something because their mind just not has it has not expanded to that point yet Okay, and both realities are true. So, for instance, I could be in a situation where I see both sides of this card. 
right? I'm like, okay, I my mind has be, I've become enlightened and I am now aware of this card having both sides. And then there's other people, okay, who are not aware that this card has both sides. They may argue and say this card only has one side. And both statements are true. We all are living in our own reality. Does this make sense? Okay. To them, it's true. Because that's all they can perceive. Okay. Realizing something is just... What's real to someone is, is how far they have realized something. I hope that is making sense. Oh my God. I just don't want, I'm trying to, I want to present this information to where it's easy for people's brains to digest. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the nervous system. Let's go to Genesis chapter two, verse nine. First, we're going to read it out of the King James version and see what it says. Okay. It says, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay. That's what it says in this Bible. Let's see what it says in this one. Okay. This is in the new, what's it called? New international version. Okay. This says, this is Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. It says, The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay? So, some of you might be like, what does this have to do with the nervous system? Okay? The tree of knowledge of good and evil is your nervous system. Okay? Your nervous system is what helps your body decode what's going on in your external world. It's what sends messages to your brain. Okay? The nervous system is consists of your brain and your spinal cord and the network of nerves that run throughout your human body, okay? It helps with everyday activities like waking up in the morning, um, sleep cycles, um, automatic activities like breathing. You don't have to think about breathing, you're just doing it, okay? Um, or complex activities like reading, thinking, remembering things, feeling emotions. This all has to do with the nervous system okay now the nervous system also helps you decode the do we the duality of this world right it helps you figure out what is good and what is evil right this world is made up of dualities like i said with the moon and the sun. It's also representing duality, but they both come together to make something beautiful. Okay? Okay. <sighs> then it also says this, all right? So like I said, the Bible could be perceived literally and this is all based on your awareness. This is all based on how far your mind has expanded, how much you're, you've come to a realization of things, right? Some people um, are still thinking narrow and they are taking the Bible literally. Some other people are taking, thinking a little bigger and looking at the Bible as a, you know, a source of his, history. Okay, looking at it uh, from a historical standpoint and then if you're thinking a little more bigger you could be viewing what's in the bible or any other religious texts okay like the torah and all the other stuff okay as metaphoric okay okay so then genesis chapter two chapter two verse 10 says 
And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. Okay? So, your body itself is the Garden of Eden. Okay? The tree of knowledge of good and evil is your nervous system. The four rivers, okay, that it's that it's explaining in the Bible. Remember, we're, we're taking this information metaphorically. They are the four rivers are metaphoric for the four holy fluids that are in your body. Okay? One is blood. One is your saliva. The other one is the Christ oil, which is produced from your caus your claustrum gland or whatever, okay, in your brain. And this is after a whole month of you retaining your sexual energy and, you know, all the other stuff that I explained. Uh, abstaining from the seven deadly sins and getting to that point of enlightenment, okay? And the fourth holy fluid, okay, is semen slash vaginal fluid so your sexual fluids okay okay so we're still on we're still on the tree or now we're on to the tree of life okay using the same scripture genesis chapter 2 verse 9 okay where it says in the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil so like i said our body is the garden of the uh, is the garden of eden okay the tree of life they are saying is in the middle of your garden and what's in the middle of your body your heart chow Okay, so the tree of life is representative of the cardiovascular system. Okay, the cardiovascular system provides life to the physical body. Okay, your heart is the most magnetic organ that you have in your body. And how is that? Because like I explained before, the moon, which represents your emotions, the pituitary gland, which represents a more feminine energy, okay? So is your heart. It's a feminine energy, okay? And what do feminine energies do? They attract, just like magnets, okay? Your heart pulsates. It has a beat okay since your heart is of your emotions you have to understand and become aware that emotions is the language of the universe that's how you speak to the universe is with your heart so for example if you wake up in a bad mood you're in a crappy mood, you're thinking real negative, that is what you're gonna continue to attract the rest of the fucking day if you don't shape, if you don't shape it up and switch it around, okay? Um, because the universe is always listening. So if you, if you keep sending out to the universe with your emotions, oh, I'm shitty, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. The universe is, the universe is not, how can I explain this? The universe is not into the, the whys and the because and the whatever. It's, it's, it takes basic orders, okay? You feel shitty, okay, they want more shit. You feel happy, okay, cool, we're gonna give them more happy. It's not a, they don't, the universe doesn't care about the why you feel shitty. 
It doesn't care about the why you feel happy. It just cares about the energy you're admitting. That's why a lot of people, okay, need to be aware of how you feel and to remember that to not allow other people to manipulate how you feel or or put you in a fucked up mood. Okay, don't allow someone to have power over your emotions. Because if they have power over your emotions, then they can have power over what you can attract. Does this make sense? It's real diabolical. All right? So listen. <laughs> um Yeah. So what you put out is what you get back. As within, so without. I hope people are picking up what I'm putting down, baby. Boo. Okay? Listen, y'all. This is just going to be a short little um, situation for y'all. I hope you guys understood some of the things I was saying. Um, please, always, always do your own research as well. Okay? Please. Also, remember, everything that you need is already inside of you. You got this. I feel like it is vital for people to know this right now because of this lion's gate that's coming up. And you guys are very much, you guys could very much benefit from using this information in order to manifest what you truly want in your reality. Okay? Your emotions are key, but so is your mind. Your mind, which is your penal gland, they both need to be in alignment in order for you to birth something beautiful. All right? All right, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have learned something today. Um, don't be shy. You can put things in the comments. Maybe I could learn a little more. I don't know everything, okay? But... Yeah, I hope you guys have a, a great rest of your weekend. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.